everyone welcome to yam wonders today is day 11 of the 21 day granny square series in today's video i'm going to show you how to crochet a granny rectangle the pattern i have followed in this is uh, the basic granny square pattern i've already made a video on this uh, this is a part of a 21 day series if you have not checked the previous uh, videos i would recommend that you go uh, watch those videos and come back to this one for a better understanding okay to make this pattern I'm going to use an acrylic yarn, a 4.5 mm crochet hook and other than that you will need a pair of scissors. Now let's get right into the video. To start this pattern, you will have to start with a foundation chain. Um, while you are doing a granny square, you will be starting with a magic circle or a foundation loop. Okay. Now in this one we are going to start with a foundation chain. You can create as many foundation chains as you want. This number of foundation chain is going to determine the length of your rectangle. That is, each of the each of this row will increase about an inch. So suppose if you want the rectangle to be 10 centimeters in uh, maybe two um, two rounds, you will have to start the foundation chain with a 8 inch foundation chain okay so here i'm just going to do the same length so i will show you as i crochet so this is the length and uh, you have to add one chain to make a corner here and one chain to make a corner here okay so extra, you have to do an extra of two chains now you're going to chain three and go into the one two three four go into the fourth chain one two three four the chain three counts as one um, double crochet And you are going into the same chain creating one more double crochet. This is going to form the first three double crochet cluster. Again we are going to create a chain two. Now uh, another cluster we are going to make in the same chain. So that which is the same chain that we went into for the first cluster. Okay. Into this I am making another three double crochet cluster. So now this forms one corner of this rectangle that is this part okay so now you are going to chain one and into each of these chains you are going to create uh, a side cluster so we are going to skip one go into the next create a side cluster so into each chain that you are going into that is we'll be skipping one chain in between and into each chain that you're going into you're going to make three double crochets again chain one here skip one make another three double crochet cluster again chain one skip one go into the next chain and make one more three double crochet cluster okay. now we are going to skip one and we have only one chain left into this chain we are going to create the next corner that is a three double crochet can see that the work is slightly curling up but this is going to straighten out as you crochet the next row. So yeah, so I've done three double crochets. Now again I'm going to chain two and make another three double crochet cluster.
into the same chain. can already see that the shape is forming this this is going to be one corner now into this space we have to create one more corner again chain two so into this chain here we are making three three double crochet clusters that means we are making two corners into the same chain space This is one corner this is another corner now we are going to crochet on the other side of this square here okay so here we have a three double crochet cluster so i'm going into the same chain and making another side cluster so before that you have to chain one then here we have one more cluster so i'm going into the same chain space making the next side cluster so again here we have one more side cluster so i'm making another side cluster here now we are back at the start of the row okay we are back at the start of the row into this chain space where we did the first three double crochet uh, three chain two three double crochet cluster we are going into that making one more corner okay so this is going to be a three double crochet and a chain two so instead of a chain two i'm going to do a half double crochet on top of this chain three so that my work ends ends at the center of a corner So here we are done with the first row. For the next row, we are going to do a chain three, turn your work, go into the first corner, and we are going to create another corner cluster. So from here on, it's going to be the same pattern as the basic granny square. Into corners, you are going to create more corners, and into the side spaces, that is the chain one space, you are going to create. A side cluster. Okay, so now here, this is a side space. So I'm going to do a side cluster. In between each cluster, you have to do a chain one. So here, what we have done is, into every uh, side cluster space, I've made one more side cluster. So this is going to be my last side cluster here and after that we are going to make another corner. We are back at the corner space here. Into this I am going to make a corner cluster. A corner cluster is 3 double crochets, chain 2 and 3 double crochet. So now that is the first corner, we are moving into the second corner here. So in between this corner, we are again going to do a chain one. Okay. So into this, uh, we are at the corner space. So again, we are going to create a corner and uh, I'll meet you back at the end of the row. Then I do the uh, last corner stitch here. Here we are at the last corner here. So from on, from now on, it's going to be the same pattern throughout the work. So you can create this pattern uh, to any length and breadth that you want. Uh, it's the basic granny square pattern, but instead of a square, we have done it as a rectangle. So I've done the corner cluster. Now I'm going to slip stitch onto the uh, on top of the first chain 3 that we did at the start of the row and chain 1 
cut okay so yeah so this is the rectangle pattern so if you want you can do it to any length that you want i hope you enjoyed the video and tomorrow uh, i'll meet you with another granny square pattern if you like the video do subscribe to my channel and if you have done a pattern uh, or any product using this pattern do tag me on instagram at saumya underscore yarn wonders or you can also use the hashtag yarn wonders okay thank you for watching